All right, get back to a story breaking this morning about a plane that went down in Russia. This plane was carrying the Polish uh, president and first lady, some 132 people on board. All are believed to have been killed. You're seeing some of the uh, some of the wreckage here, some of the first video. This happened about 3 o'clock Eastern time uh, this morning. This was on landing uh, there in western Russia. I want to bring in Brian Barnett from the, uh, from the Krakow Post uh, who can uh, help us uh, here call, um, uh, talking to us from uh, Poland this morning, I do believe. Uh, sir, thank you for jumping on the line uh, with us. Uh, what more do we know about what possibly happened upon landing? There was some uh, issue possibly that it had clipped some trees. Is that what you're hearing as well? Yes, uh, what we're hearing in the reports is that uh, there were the, the scenario basically possibly went something like uh, they were trying to land in heavy fog, um, and because they wanted to go to this commemoration, may have tried to land and land and land, and then uh, upon uh, possibly the fourth attempt, uh, hit some trees and crashed. And, and Brian, give us more about who exactly was on board. We, again, we understand the president. Uh, was on board along with the first lady, but who else? We're talking about 132 people. We're told were on board. Uh, yeah, I think I think the numbers are are going to be a bit uh, confusing over the next 24 hours. Yeah. Um, but in general, what it was was a delegation of about 88 people uh, who were going to this commemoration of Katyn uh, in Western Russia, and possibly other people either going for that or with the uh, president in general. Uh, up to 130 is the other number that we have heard. Do we know uh, of the people on board? Again, we're not, not exactly sure. Like you said, the numbers might be all over the place. But uh, how many aboard were part of the, uh, the Polish government? Uh, the Polish uh, government itself actually, you mean like ministers and, and uh, people such as that? Ministers or any part of the, uh, any, uh, how big was the Polish delegation? Are you telling well, me? The uh, Polish delegation okay. was about 88 people. And we okay. believe that included a number of, not only the president and his wife, but a number of uh, ministers of aides, uh, one undersecretary, and uh, at least one, maybe more army generals, um, and so quite quite a large number of the uh, Polish uh, uh, presidential corps, I guess, well, the well, people who would normally be in his offices and work with him. Brian, how, uh, I guess, is the Polish uh, community, how uh, the country itself, how uh, the media as well, how has the coverage been right now? What has the reaction been? Uh, in, in Poland to this accident? Well, I think the very first thing is that Poland is in a high state of shock right now. Um, it, it, it is, you know, it, it is uh, not at all expected. It's, I don't think any crashes, but this particular week has been a, a moment of, of Russian and Polish uh, accord of them trying to, uh, to talk to each other over this issue of Katyn, which was the massacre that happened uh, uh, in World War II. And so this commemoration was highly, highly important, and for this to happen, I think, for many Polish that I've already been speaking with today, it's almost as if it's resurrecting a, a, a painful memory in the past uh, via this crash. Uh, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable, to be honest. It's really amazing. Brian Barnett, we appreciate you hopping on the phone here. Uh, we might, uh, if we can, talk to you a little later as we continue to gather information uh, about this story. But thank you so much. And again, to our viewers, uh, the word is plane crash goes down. Plane goes down in western uh, Russia today. Possibly clipped some trees trying to land. And aboard that plane was the president, President Kaczynski of uh, Poland, also his wife. And as we just heard from Brian Barnett there, several other, a number of members uh, possibly the Polish government and just a huge Polish delegation uh, with the investigation already underway. Let's take a turn now and uh, head.